for relaxing times. Make it Tangori time. Hello there. Only one Kenobi here. Only one. I've been dying to open this. I've been home for hours as well. I've got all my other stuff out the way. And now it's Tangori time. I can't wait to open this because I can't remember what I ordered. I cannot remember what I ordered. So let's find out. Shall we? Tungori. Awesome. So if you want to check out Tungori, he used to be an eBay guy. He's now got his own website, Tungori.com. And you can get what we suspect are seconds. Who is Tungori? I've already asked this. Never assume the gender. It could be a man. It could be a woman. But also, what are these things? Are they knockoffs? Are they, are they seconds? I, I strongly suspect, right, that these are seconds from Hasbro. And he's got links with Hasbro. He used to work for them. Knows somebody where he knows how to get stuff that falls off the back of a truck. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But anyway, this is what I got. That doesn't look very full. I'm sure I ordered more than that. I can't remember what I got. i tell you what I did get, though. Don't hate me, but I got another one of these. I just wanted another one. And he's got them available. They've been on sale, off sale. Keep an eye on them. I did post on my Facebook page the other day that there were more on sale. So I'll keep an eye. I'd keep an eye on them if I were you because they come back on and back off. Just because it was so cheap, I got another one of these. That's the Death Star. I've already got one, actually. It came with the Darth Vader that has his hands on his hips. Should I find him? I've actually put him up there. I've put him up here with the Emperor up here. It's like the business Vader, I call him. You know, like the one who stands with the politicians, like... Very much a New Hope stance, that, isn't it? When he's standing behind Tarkin looking like that. But in fact, I used to have him with all those, you know, the Imperial offers and stuff. But now I've just put him up there because I've got so many great Vaders. I need a new... <gasps> what was that I just stood on? Oh, it's okay. I needed a new place for that one. But anyway, what else is in here, man? This is exciting. Exciting times. Tengori times. Except that looks a bit yellow, that stand for that. Oh, focus. There you go. What else? I got this R2-D2. Oh, man, for one reason and one reason alone. I'm going to show you. My God, this is more than an opening. It's like a mini tour. So this beautiful X-Wing here. Love or hate the, the Rise of Skywalker. It's very dusty down there, actually. Love or hate Rise of Skywalker. This vehicle is superb. It is an amazing X-Wing. Beautiful. And the mechanism is incredible. However, one thing I noticed. I'm going to mount the camera again. One thing I noticed when I bought it, which was way before the Rise of Skywalker came out, I got this in about October 2019, was the fact that R2-D2 looked kick-ass in it, right? And we didn't know at that stage that R2 was a co-pilot in it, but you see, they, they, someone was asking me about this the other day, the, the BB-8 in there is crap, they've never made in three and three quarter inch a BB-8 that's weathered. And that's just one of many plain Jane BB-8s that are just, he needs a little bit of dirt or something. But anyway, R2 looks amazing in that. And I was so overjoyed. That was one of the things I liked about the Rise of Skywalker, seeing R2 co-piloting with, with Poe. And I like Poe. What else? Let's have a look. Okay, aha. Uh -huh. So there's R2-D2. I'm really glad to have him. I bought this Luke because, right... And these are all seconds. I'll get them out of the packaging later. The reason I bought this Luke was because that is... The Luke that came with the three pack, the Vision on Endor, not Endor, bloody Dagobah, you know, whatever that set was. It's a vastly superior Luke. The one that there was is awful. I'm going to go and find it. Oh my God, I can't stay still. Over here, I've got this little Dagobah, there's that Luke again there. That Luke for the Black Series was horrendous. Looks nothing like Mark Hamill. Um, but they obviously updated the face for that three pack, and there it is. I just wanted that figure, you, you know, because when you're on Tungori and you're ordering, it's a good idea to look for more than one item because, you know, postage is all included or whatever. I think, or it just sort of goes up a tiny, tiny notch per item, so it's worth getting more than one thing. This is one I really, really wanted to get. It's, it's the Clone Wars version of. Sorry, you can't see. Um, Ayla Sakura. But. What I really want is the TVC version. In fact, I thought he had the TVC one on, but he doesn't. But this is still an articulated figure, which looks good. So that's going to be of use over here. 
So my prequels, prequel shelves all here. So we go from Phantom Menace all the way down to there. That's my Clone Wars shelf there. And you've got Gandhi stuff all the way to Dave Filoni and she will go in there nicely. Or you could even maybe sneak her into the Revenge of the Sith section. I'm pretty sure I've got quite a lot of Revenge. I've got two shelves for Revenge of the Sith. The tours are coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Shelf indulgence is going to happen. I've said it for months. I'm really sorry. And the final figure is this. Sauvage Opress. So it proves it. I thought I'd bought myself a Gungan Warrior as well. I haven't. That's why I was looking forward to opening this. So Lee, if you're watching, I'm coming for you, buddy. I want to buy your um, Gungan Warrior. He's got a few other goodies as well. Lee is from Tatooine Customs and he's selling some loose figures at the minute. So I'm going to do a little deal with him. But Savage Opress, I've always wanted Savage. I liked him a lot. I thought he was great. You know, Dooku getting, the, getting another warrior after Maul. And he was awesome. You know, that in itself, I would have been happy with that. You know, if, if they kept Darth Maul dead and we just saw Dathomir, like we did see Dathomir in great detail. We saw the Night Sisters, the patriarch, the matriarchy, and the brothers, you know, you saw Maul's brothers. It was great. But he's awesome. I'm so glad. I've been eyeing up Savage Press for years now on Tungoria. I've always passed on it. But I just thought, what the hell? Get it. And that's a great figure. Look at that. And these are supposed to be seconds there. Or whatever. They're just absolutely top quality. Someone was asking about Savage Press for the vintage collection. Well, you know... <laughs> I wouldn't say no or anything like that. You know, they're great characters. Here we go. Let's get Luke out for you. Have a closer look at that awesome Luke. Dagobah. Dagobah Cave, whatever they call that set. I'm so sorry. I never was interested in buying that one. Well, that's not bad. It's, I tell you what, it's a way better figure that than the one that was in the Black Series. It was an awful, a horrible facial sculpt. That's a lot more Mark Hamill-like. Very good, that. Actually, I like that. Glad to have that. People have spotted stuff with Tungori, they've seen like things missing or... That looks just like the one I've got. The one I've got loose already is 100% open from a vintage collection. Excuse me, let's get this lower down now. Yeah, out, opened off packaging. Well, he's going straight into that X-Wing. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute before I end. Get rid of this average BB-8. Here, I get ready for this now. See what I mean? It's just that R2 works so well. I don't, know if the, I don't know if it's the orange, the silver and the blue all working well together. I don't know, but that's just brilliant. That makes the whole, because the vehicle's great. It's just wasted having that in it. So and it makes sense to have R2 in it since he did in the film. So there you are. There's my Tungori score there. Let's go through it for you. All right, there you go. I've got them all on stands. And there's Savage Press. What a great figure that is. Really striking, you know, yellow and black in nature means danger, keep away. I've done a head swap with that Luke there. That's the previous one I had. I've just, for the sake of ease, just swapped the head for this new one. This is the new one. And I've gone for like, there's the old head on it. Although the skin tones don't match, so I might do some more. Look at that. Like pasty and he's got kind of an orangey skin. So yeah, I'll sort that out. But anyway, one of them I'm going to have like a handstand thing. I might need to use some manipulation with that. Either have him hanging via a thread from the ceiling of the <laughs> shelf over there or get some blue tack on his hands or something but still that'd be cool to extend my Dagobah and here is Ayla, Ayla Sakura, she looks pretty cool man and there's the uh, Weequay Master who I already have but I've got another one I'm gonna do something with him, I've got a poncho or something I can put on him, anyway there's still stock actually at the time just being on Tungori now he's got more of him in so you know get on there don't delay get him you know very hard to find figure. Thank you very much for watching. Awesome. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.